Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Today I'm going to show you how I get this new GUI thing that's going on down in the bottom. As you've seen in the last few replays that I've been casting and any games that I've been playing and stuff like that, I've got this new control bar. It's really, really cool and funky. You can see a lot more of the map. It looks a lot more modern and fresh. It's one of the best things to ever hit zero hour in a long time to be fair you can press the tab key and you can see this looks a little bit better maybe to be honest this back thing here could be a little bit um, in the same color scheme and stuff like that but overall this is a really really um cool upgrade also if you press escape this looks a little bit different things look a little bit squashed like the icons and stuff like that but actually what i realized is actually the the, the normal game is actually these are normally stretched so it's normally like a little bit wider than that so they're actually icons created but then stretched to fit inside of the game which is why some of these things look a little bit different but i'm sure you'll agree it's a massive massive improvement and trust me after probably one or two games only you will be hooked on this and you'll never want to see the old screen again i'll just show you in here how that looks as well so like you select this it shows you you've got one point and then zero um all this kind of stuff it's just it's just such a massive improvement you can see loads more of the screen so you can control more units and stuff like that so without further ado i'm going to show you how you can get this so it's going to exit the game and we are going to head on over to the desktop. So the link you want to visit is this one here. I'm going to put the, uh, the link in the description. It's going to be the first thing that you can click on. I'll put it in the comments as well. And you can, um, yeah, what's well, made by Zezon and Fast. So massive shout out to them, first of all. Zezon and Fast. Or well, Fast and Zezon. Maybe Fast put in more work than Zezon. Who, who knows? You can see some screenshots about it and stuff like that. Uh, you can make a donation if you want to support their work. It says they spent 150 hours. Actually, Fast spent 150 hours and I spent around 150 hours. So total, that would be 300 hours. So uh, making some donations to him probably would be, wouldn't be um, such a bad idea. So um, yeah, Control Bar HD as well. That makes, uh, if you click on that, you can download that. And that basically makes all of these things look more HD than normal. Uh, but yeah, further without further ado, we're going to jump into it. If you want to download it, you're going to click here on download. And then you want to click on whatever resolution your game is running at. So if you don't know what resolution your game is running at, jump into the game, go to options. And it should tell you uh, what resolution you are running it at. Or you can go into options in my documents, I believe. There's a folder called options in there. Options.ini, you can click in there and you can see the resolution. And then you can also change it from there as well by just manually over typing the text file. Uh, so what we want to do is download our resolution. So I'm running 1920 by 1080p. That's what my monitor is capable of. It's the max that I run all the time. So I'm just going to click that. And then that will download. It's a really small file, 4.3 meg. I'm just going to close this and then on my desktop, I now have this zip here. A few files here. I'm just going to hide them. Right click here. I'm going to press extract here. This is, well, here this is a zip file. So if you think you've got WinZip, this will work too. But this for me, I'm using WinRata and Packet. So I just right click and extract here. If you've got WinZip, it might say the same thing with a different icon. Or uh, it might say open with WinZip and you just need to select the files and press extract. But I'm sure you know how to do that already. So I'm going to select this, delete that now. And then we've got all of these files here. And you just want to read the readme. It's really, really simple to be to be fair. Um, read a little bit about it. But all you really need is these uh, two steps here. So first of all is copy all of the files into the install directory. So for example, if you have it in the C drive, program files at EA Games General Zero like me. So I will just go to that now. I'm going to open it on the screen, see program files, uh, origin games, general zero, general zero. And then you can see I've got loads of stuff pasted in here of all the different things I've been installing. <laughs> None of them are cheats, I promise. Uh, but mainly they're actually these files here on the desktop. So you can see that there, 340, 340, 340. All of these things, you're basically just copying them in. You can see I've got control bar it's basically all of this copied and pasted in it's literally that simple and then to run the game you actually want to run one of these files so you can either run this one or you can run this one or you can run this one or you can run this one a uh, little pro tip for me is i obviously have my zero icon on the desktop so i del deleted that and then i made a shortcut for one of these so let's say you want to use that first one generals control bar pro.cmd so you find in here press g generals control bar pro.cmg sorry cmd right click uh, send to desktop create shortcut it will be called that massive long thing but then i just renamed it to zero i just click that and then my game boots up um yeah if you want to hide ip addresses or email addresses if you're going to be streaming or making a video or anything then you can add these to a text file and then if you want to install it for game ranger you can follow those steps as well but i won't go through that now i'm sure you can follow them five really easy steps just opening game ranger go into your options 
and changing the uh, changing the exe directory. If you've got the old observer mode that I used to have, the old observer mode. If you, if you don't know what that is, you probably don't know, but you probably don't need to worry about it. But if you have the old observer mode, you can now delete those files if you uh, um, if you did have them because now this is the this is the be all and end all. So yeah, hopefully this helps you, and hopefully you you enjoyed this. I'm sure you'll agree it makes Zero a lot more modern and fresh. So GG, and see you in the next one.